Hi, I'm John. I'm 78. And I'm John's daughter, Mary. I'm 56. I'm William. I'm 61 years old. And this is James. Hi, I'm James, and I'm 70. I'm Bruce. I'm 51. How old are you, Mom? I'm 76. And he says I'm the one that forgets things. <laughs> I'm Sophie, and I'm turning 56 this year. And Mom is 80. And counting. <laughs> <laughs> Next? Oh, for my mom? What's next? For us as a couple? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, I'm not worried. I worry all the time. What if she has a fall? Gets sick? Needs care. The next 10 years? I have no idea. My memory's not great. Neither is my vision. And if things get really bad? If I have an accident. Or if I get sick, I really prefer in-home care. I tried talking about it one day, but my mom left the room. We don't really talk about it. He's already got more than enough on his plate. She's always been so independent. I'm the one that keeps putting it off. No, I just assumed we would talk about it sooner or later. No, but I know I have to. We've never really talked about it, but I'd really like to stay in my home. I love my house. <laughs> it has a big vegetable garden. My husband takes really good care of me, never complains. I want to keep living the way I do now, although I might need a little help moving around the house. Assistant living, maybe. She's lonely. She'd make new friends. I don't want to sell my house. Her house, way too big for one person. Maybe a senior's apartment. I can't believe he's talking about putting me in a senior's home. I want to be able to garden. Look, I am so exhausted. I. I can't do it alone anymore. He's been so busy looking after me, he just hasn't been able to look after himself. I got a lot of stuff I still want to do. I want to volunteer, take a road trip down the coast. He never told me that. Yes, I, I did. I told you I was going to go down the coast, and I told you I wanted to take a trip. We'll get Ben to drive, because you're not driving. Oh. I can't believe I was so wrong. I wish we had had this conversation years ago. Me too, Mom. Me too.